discuss a couple of Bible verses with y'all today. Uh, be coming from um, Proverbs chapter 2 and Genesis chapter 18, verse 22, beginning at verse 22. So I begin reading. Proverbs chapter 2, verse 1. My son, if thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom and apply thine heart to understanding, yea, if thou criest after knowledge and lift up thy voice for understanding, if you seek her as silver, and search for her as for hid treasures. Then you shall understand the fear of Yahuwah and find the knowledge of Allah. For Yahuwah giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous, he is a buckler to them that walk upright. Now in the book of Romans, it says that the, the law of condemnation was to the wicked. The law of condemnation was to the wicked. But here, the wisdom of Allah. Then shalt thou understand the fear of Yahuwah and find knowledge of Allah. For Yahuwah giveth wisdom out of his mouth Cometh knowledge and understanding. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk upright. He keepeth the paths of judgment and preserveth the way of his saints. Then shalt thou understand righteousness and judgment and equity. Yeah, every good path. Amen. When wisdom entereth into the heart, and knowledge is pleasant unto the soul, discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee, to deliver thee from the way of the evil man, from the man that speaketh forward things, who leaveth the paths of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness, who rejoice to do evil and delight in the forwardness of the wicked whose ways are crooked, and they forward in their paths, to deliver thee from the strange woman, even from the stranger which flattereth with her words, which forsaketh the guide of her youth, and forgetteth the covenant of her Allah. For her house inclineth unto death, and her paths unto, dead, unto the dead. None that go in, none that go unto her, return again. Neither take they hold of the paths of life, that thou mayest walk in the way of good, of good men, and keep the paths of the righteous. For the upright shall dwell in the land, and the perfect shall remain in it. But the wicked shall be cut off from the earth, and the transgressors shall be rooted out of it. I'm going to read one verse on this one. Chapter 3. My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. Let me read verse 2. For length of days and long life and salam shall they be to thee. Let me read another one. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them upon thy neck and write them upon the table. Of thine heart. Amen. So now, out of the King James Version ESV. King James Version ESV. I'll go ahead and read. Remember, I said in your hearing, Genesis chapter 18, beginning at verse 22, that's Barashit, the beginning. Barashit chapter 18, verse 22. So the men turned from there and went towards Sodom. 
but Abahami still stood before Yahuwah. Then Abahami drew near and said, Will you indeed sweep away the righteous with the wicked? Suppose there are 50 righteous within the city. Will you then sweep away the place and not spare it for the 50 righteous who are in it? Far be it from you to do such a thing, to put, to put the righteous to death with the wicked, so that the righteous uh, far as the wicked, far be that from you. Shall not the judge of all the earth do what is just? And Yahuwah said, If I find at Sodom fifty righteous in the city, I will spare the whole place for their sake. And Abahami answered, and, let me read that again. If I find fifty righteous in the city, in Sodom, and Yahuwah said, and if I find 50 in the city who are righteous, I will spare the city for the righteous sake. Abahami answered and said, Behold, I have undertaken to speak to Yahuwah. I who am but dust and ashes, suppose five of the 50 righteous are lacking. Will you destroy the whole city for the lack of five? And he said, I will not destroy it if I find 45 there. And again, he spoke to him and said, suppose 40 are found there. He answered, for the sake of 40, I will do it. Then he said, oh, let not Yahuwah be angry and I will speak. Suppose 30 are found there. He answered him, he answered, I will not do it if I find 30 there. He said, Behold, I have undertaken to speak to Yahuwah. Suppose 20 are found there. He answered, For the sake of 20, I will not destroy it. Then he said, Oh, let not Yahuwah be angry. And I will speak again, but this once. Suppose there are found there. For suppose 10 are found there. He answered, for the sake of 10, I will not destroy it. And Yahuwah went his way and he had finished speaking to Abahami. And Abahami returned to his place. Now the scripture says that no man has seen the father's face. Abahami asked the father, can I see your face? Uh, the father said, you cannot see my face lest you die. So he showed Abahami his glory. So who was that that was talking to Abahami? He, uh, well, to Masha. Who was that talking to Abahami and Masha? That was Yahabasha. That was Yesu. So since we know that Yesu uh, wasn't created by man, we, since we know that Yesu was to be the lamb before the foundation of the world. It was Yesu who appeared before the holy men in those days, the set apart men, the saints, those who were given the covenant, those who were given the law of the covenant. Now, there are two kinds of laws, and I, I told y'all I was going to come back on here and talk about that with y'all. There is a law of lamb sacrifice. And there is also the law, statue, and commandments of the Most High. Now, when you talk about the law of righteousness, which is the law that we were commanded to keep, uh, this law, before Masha was even given the tablets, they were already taught, thou shalt not kill. They were already taught, thou shalt not steal. When you seen uh, Yosef, when he didn't want to uh, lay with uh, Potiphar, the, 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 the priest of On, when he didn't want to lay with his woman, uh, he know that you can't, you, you shall not steal, you shall not covet your neighbor's wife, uh, you shall not commit adultery. They already knew these things because Yahuwah spoke to them. 
Amen. Uh, the sacrificial laws, uh, there was a foreshadow of that before even uh, the Levites were born. And before the Levites uh, were sacrificing things, the father had already sacrificed an uh, animal and clothed Adama and Habila when they was out there in the garden. So what we have to understand is that we serve the same, the Allah Haim that is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And he has not changed. He is the same. So if we know that Allah Hayyam does not change, and if we know that Masha was mediating for Sodom and Amorah, whether if they were Hamites or not, he mediated for them so that he can ask the father, would you destroy the city if there was 20 righteous? Would you destroy the city if there was 50 righteous? And Yahuwah said, I will not destroy it for 20 sake. I will not destroy it for 10 sake. But Yahuwah looked in the city and he couldn't find none. Amen. He said, if the world received me, you know that it, if, if the world hate you, you know it hated, if it, it, it hated me first. When he said world, he was talking about erects, nations. He said, if the nations hated me, including Yasharal and Yadu, Yasara and Yadu, Israel and Judah. If he said, if you know that the world hated me, you know that it will also hate you. Whatever it receives of me, it will receive of you. Whatever it does not receive of me, whatever the nations don't receive of me, it will not receive of you. Amen. Now, the nations did not receive that Yesu was an Eve from the tribe of Yadu. They did not receive that he was Eve by Yadu, by uh, uh, ba Dawidi. They didn't, uh, ba, ba na Dawidi. They didn't receive that he was a, uh, uh, to be the redeemer of the people who are scattered to the four corners of the earth. It, because if they would have received that, then, then we would not have gone through all the things that we went through with, uh, the years when many of us started to understand the interpretation of the, the Nambi. The Nambi. So when we was reading out of the, the books, out of the prophecies that is recorded inside of the Nabi, and in the books of Masha, which is the Torah, and in the Brit Hadashah, which is the New Testament, when we was looking at these things and bringing forth these messages, though we, we saw through a glass dimly and didn't see uh, perfectly as we would have desired to see. That's why we were studying and going and going and going and going like we was doing and like we are now is because we all see through a dim glass. We don't see perfectly. The Greeks look for uh, uh, knowledge and we look for a sign. We were trying to figure out, now, now how can we be Israel? The sign that you look for Israelites is in the book of Dabarim. But Moshiach said the only sign that you're going to get from him is his death, burial, and the resurrection. That he's going to be, that he going to save you out of these places. Because as you can see, the father said in the book of Yeshayahu, of Yeshaya, Yeshaya, he say that, 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 uh, that he will destroy Yasara as if he is their enemy. And that's why the scriptures say that you will be taken as the property, the captivity of other nations. See, there is a scripture in the Torah that says that you will be taken uh, captive. Then it also said it took your animals captive and it took your land captive. Now, if you can take land and animals as your property, and then you took the people as your property, and the scripture says the mode of transportation will be slave ships. Aladu Akunatu from the tribe of Yadu. He was a Igbu, a Ebu, a Hebo from the tribe of Yadu, Eladu Akunatu. And Eladu Akunatu, who wrote down his chronicles, just like what you read inside the Torah, you see the chronicles of the kings. Uh, Eladu Akunatu, 
who left the continent of Kamata when he was stolen away from his mother and his father and put on the slave ship. He gave record and testimony. He told us how the ship smelled. He told us that, that, that the men that they faces was a frightening face because they hadn't seen people that looked like that, like that before. You see, so Alado Akonato, when he gave record of what he saw, when he gave record of his people that he saw in North America and in, uh, in the South America, in the Caribbeans, when he gave record, he said that these are his people. They have some mannerisms of uh, the Ibu, of the Hebo, the Igbus, in Kamata, in Eliefe, but uh, they don't know who they are. And it, he, he looked at them and he said that, that they lost a lot of their customs. So what you have to understand is that Yadu, Yadu from the tribe of uh, Yadu, these Yasserites, these Israelites, who were scattered not just in North and South America, but many of them was taken on ships, as I showed you in the other video that I had to correct. Um, I had to write up the correction for the video. Uh, as you saw that um, they didn't just scatter Yadu to North and South America and the Caribbean islands, but Yadu was also scattered in Europe, Yadu was also scattered. Uh, some were taken back to Kamata. Well, some were taken back to Ileafe that they changed. The, the, the two of the lands now is a conflict going on. And then you have people saying that they is Masons and all these things in these lands. Uh, Yasara. Moshiach is your redeemer. When he rose from the tree, well, from the from the tomb, Arimathea's tomb, fulfilling prophecy, and he showed himself to five hundred people. Five five hundred people cannot see the same delusion. Now, when they Baker acted me, when I was saying Yeshua, and they were saying that Allah Hayim is an imaginary friend, and they put a thorn in my flesh, when they did that. They was assaulting the Ruach. They was assaulting the one that say, if you obey me. Because see, a lot of times people think that they helping you, but they hurting you. See, a person that believes that Allah Hayyam does not exist. If you tell them that you saw a, a Malek, an angel, a Malek, if you say you saw Maleki, then many of them will think that you have seen a delusion. And they will put weights on you that I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. It'll be like trying to explain to somebody that you are able to think. Even though you're going through a hardship, you are still able to function and think to a certain extent like you used to. But you have a thorn in your side. You have a thorn in your flesh. And I do not believe that the Father has allowed me to go through this trial and tribulation that I go through with so that I would not be able to exist in his presence. I believe that the Father allows you to go through things so that you will be able to give proper cancellation to somebody else who pre-adventure is going to go through the same thing or going through the same thing that you're going through with. And I'm not wishing this on nobody. But we don't have to be, we should not be ignorant of Hasetan's uh, tricks and schemes. Now, when I looked at, when they were talking about uh, giving reparations, What what I saw was what everybody been wanting in the ecclesia, in the church. I've been seeing that everybody been wanting everybody else's crown. 
I've been seeing that everybody wanted everybody else's suffering, but they didn't want to go through the suffering that the other person went through with. But they want the crown that they have. See, what you got to understand is that the people in Haiti, they have a crown and they have a suffering that Yadu and Haiti can uh, weigh together and say, man, y'all went through this, y'all went through that. But what Haiti went to, through with in Haiti, with the people that was down there in Haiti, 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 Ayin, Haiti, the people that went through the things down there in Haiti, the Yadu from North, from the, from the, uh, from the slave coast in North America has no right to go to Haiti and say to Haiti, uh, y'all went through this. We ain't going to uh, stand where we are. We're going to go where y'all do is, our brethren, according to our flesh. And what we're going to do is we just going to grab a hold on our brethren, y'all do. And whatever they fought for, we're going to come in and we're not going to honor them. We're going to come in because we know we the same race of people. We, we the tribe of Yasara. So we're going to go in and we're going to just enjoy. We're not going to even say to y'all do thank you. Now, I'm not saying that this is what people is going to do because I don't know. And if we go to Ileefe, what they call now uh, West Africa, and if we go to Azania that they made a name up and called it South Africa, we don't go, we can't just go to Azania and say to the brethren in Azania, the Limba and the Vimba and Yadu and Binyamuntu and uh, Chaluba, we can't go to Azania and say to Azania and Ileefe and Sina, we can't just go there and say, uh, when y'all got y'all hands chopped off, I know that we was getting beat down in America, but we're going to come over here to Ileefe, we're going to come over here to Sina, we're going to go to the European nations, and we just going to grab a hold onto y'all's struggle. And we're not going to honor the uh, Limba. We're not going to honor Ileefe. We're not going to honor the names of the places. We're not going to honor anything. We're just going to go in, grab hold to y'all blessings, and not give y'all honor. And see, that's dishonor. See? That's dishonor. So we have a Hamashiach. And Hamashiach mediate for our transgression. So if we don't honor Hamashiach's sacrifice for our transgression, and we just want to keep on making these agreements with the nations around us, and we just want to uh, make a covenant with the other nations so that we, we may be like unto the other nations. We don't, if, if we just want to be like the other nation. Now, If we, if we, if all of the uh, so-called African Americans and Caribbean people and uh, Indian people go back to where it was taken from in the West and in the South and in the East of Africa, and we go there, would we not come there trying to reverence our brothers and sisters who are there on the continent? Or will we come there trying to rob what they have went through with? Or will we come there trying to learn from our brethren on the continent? And if our brethren talk to us, do they not say, yes, brother, and yes, sister? So we have to honor Hamashiach's lamb sacrifice the way that he sacrificed himself. And the scripture said he sacrificed, he was sacrificed, and it was the same Mashiach that was sacrificed held to customs that other nations do not hold to. Amen? They don't hold to these customs. Because there was a point in time when our identity and our heritage was so far hidden under the rug until it was almost near to impossible. For Yadu and Yasara to wake up and for them to know whose they are. I don't mean just know that they is a man or a woman. I don't mean just know that they are a Christos, 
a Cretan. I don't just mean that they saying they Cretans or they black or they uh, Crayolas. But when they know who they are, when you know who you are, then there's commandments that you are able to keep soundly. The scripture says that the wise man will grow in wisdom and increase therein. But the fool hateth correction and he hateth knowledge. The fool has ceased from wisdom and understanding. But the wise will continually grow in wisdom and understanding. Kawal Na'aim. Amen. So before you can go in the gate of Yadu or Binyamuntu or Lewi, before you can go inside of the gate of Yeshikar and Guni and them, before you can go inside of the gate of the of the Da of the Da tribe, before you can go inside of the gate of the Gana tribe, before you can go inside the gate of the tribes of Yasara. And you and you Yasara. Before you can go inside the gate, you have to go in the right way. Yasara didn't just go inside the temple without a sacrifice. When you before you go before a king, you go before him bearing gifts. Yesu is the gift. Yesu is the gift. All of the prophets from Masha all the way down to the last prophet they spoke about Hamashiach. Amen. They spoke about Hamashiach. Amen. Listen to Yahweh's love for Yasara, which means that he, he will redeem you and he is not slack con concerning his promises if you trust in his lamb that he prepared. He say, I have loved you, says Yahuwah. But you say, how have you loved us? Is not Esau Yaqobah's Ak? Is not Esau Yaqobah's brother? Declare Yahuwah. Yet I have loved Yaqobah. But Esau I have hated. I have laid waste his hill country and left his heritage to jackals of the desert. If Edom says, we are, we are shattered, but we will rebuild. And they said it. Yahuwah of hosts says, they may build, but I will tear down. And they will be called the wicked country. And the people with whom Yahuwah is angry forever. Your own eyes shall see, see this and you shall say, great is Yahuwah beyond the border, beyond the the border of Yasara. Amen. Now, why does the prophet Malachi say this? Why does the prophet Malachi say this? Amen. Mikiah says some things too. Mikiah. But let's. I want to go to. Obadiah. Obadiah. And let's read. Why Yahweh is angry with Esau, Edom, Edom. He say, the vision of Obadiah, Edom will be humbled. So Edom will be humbled. That means that Edom must be lifted up in pride. Thus saith Yahuwah, Allah concerning Edom. We have heard a report from Yahuwah and a a messenger have been sent among the nations. Rise up, let us rise against her for battle. Behold, I will make you small among the nations. You shall be utterly despised. The pride of your heart has deceived you. You 
who live in the clefts of the rock, in the Caucasus. In your lofty dwelling, who say in your heart, who will bring me down to the ground? Though you, though you soar aloft like an eagle, like the eagle, though your nest is set amongst the stars, from there I will bring you down, declares Yahuwah. Now, when Yosef had the dream, what did Yosef see? He said the stars that he saw, because Yosef is an interpreter of dreams. Shalom. He says that Yosef is an interpreter of dreams. So Yosef said the stars that he saw was his brothers. And he was the one in the middle. The sheaves bowed down to Yosef. Amen. So he said, though you soar aloft like the eagle, the bird of prey, though, you, though your nest is set amongst the stars, from there I will bring you down, declares Yahuwah. If these came to you, if plunderers came by night, how you have been destroyed, would they not steal an only enough for themselves? If great gatherers came to you, this is this in the Torah, great gatherers, would they not leave glean? How Esau have been pillaged, his treasures sought out. All your allies have driven you to the border, to the border. Those at Salam with you have deceived you. They have prevailed against you. Those who ate your bread have set a trap beneath you. You have no understanding. Will I not on the day, on that day, declares Yahuwah, destroy the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of the Mount of Esau, Seir, and your mighty men shall be dismayed, O T man, so that every man from the Mount of Esau will be cut off by slaughter. Because of the violence done to your brother, Yaakoba. Because of the violence done unto your brother, Yaakoba. Because of the violence done unto your brother, Yaakoba. Shame shall cover you. So it is because whatever nation in the last days, because of the violence done to their own brother, Shame shall cover you. So whatever nation that's pillaging and destroying this certain tribe of people, that's their brother. And shame shall cover you and you shall be cut off forever. On the day that you stood aloof, on the day that strangers carried off his wealth, who are the strangers? Who carried out the wealth of Yakoba while they were scattered to the four corners of the earth? Who was the strangers that carried their wealth? Who stood on the other side and he was as one of them? The scripture says, and carried off his wealth and foreigners entered into his gates and cast lots for Salah. You are like one of them, but do not gloat over the day of your brother. In the day of his misfortune, Selah, do not rejoice over the people of Judah, Yadu, in the day of their ruin. Do not boast. In the day of distress. Do not enter the gate of my people. Do not enter the gate of my people. In the day of their calamity. Do not gloat over his disaster.
in the day of his calamity. When Yahuwah tore us down. Do not loot his wealth, Esau. Do not steal his stuff, Esau. Do not enter the gate of my people. Do not gloat over his disaster in the day of his calamity. Do not loot, do not steal his wealth, Esau, in the day of his calamity. Do not stand at the crossroads to cut off his fugitives, Esau. Do not hand over his survivors in the day of distress. For the day of Yahuwah is near upon all the nations. As you have done. As you have done. As you have done. It shall be done to you. Your deeds shall return on your own head. Edom doom. For as you have drunken on my holy oath, you don't win in the land. For as you have drunken on my holy mountain, so all the nations shall drink continually. They shall drink and swallow. Selah. These so-called three-fifths of the human is scattered to the Every nation on earth. Being oppressed. And shall be as though they had never been. But in Mount Sion. There shall be those who escape. And it shall be. Kabod. Holy. Kwadosh. And by Yakuba, And the house of Yakuba shall possess their own possessions. See, what you got to understand is that when the Father judge, people that doing things to people that going to be done to them again, when the Father judge, then your core body is going to possess his own possession. The other nations that called on Mashiach and that Barak, his people, they'll, they'll go inside of the land that they was promised to. The Hamite, the Ishmaelite, the ones that say, I want to turn to, to, to they, Allah Hayim, call on their Mashiach, the people who need to be redeemed, the people who is being looked over right now. The people who it looked like these dry bones ain't going to never live. The people who it looked like they going to always be at the bottom. The people who it looked like they is delusional and they telling people something that ain't true. The people who it looked like they just hate each other. There's a remnant out of those people. And your cobalt shall possess their own possession. You will possess your own possession. You don't have to possess America. You don't have to possess no other place. You possess your own possession. So even if you're not who the Bible say you is. And even if you not Yasara. Even if you're not Yasara like the Bible say you is. If you a Canaanite like you think you is. If you is a Crayola like you think you is, would you not possess the land of Crayola? Is that not what a redeemer does? Redeem you back something that belonged to you because it got to be your blood? So did Mashiach come through the lineage of Idundum? Did Mashiach, see somebody in the last days need to be redeemed. Somebody in the last days don't know who they Allah Hayim is. The ox know his own. But my people don't even know who they is. If you ask the preacher, 
They couldn't tell you. And the brother that asked the question, he didn't know. He said, I don't know. The book is sealed unto me. That means the understanding I cannot comprehend. The understanding that this, this is sealed unto me. What a lot of people say, we understand it better by and by. So the scriptures say that Esau has the possession of Jacob, his brother, in his possession. And Esau then went inside of the gate of Jacob, which is the gate of Yesu. The house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Yosef a flame, and the house of Edundum stubble. Because they stole something that didn't belong to them. And they did wickedness unto their brother, Yadu. Edundum gave his brothers them to the Grecians. That they may be sold far from their borders. That they may be treated harshly. They shall burn them and consume them. And there shall be no survival in the house of Edumdu. Listen to this. The kingdom of Yahuwah. Those of the Nagib. Those of the Nagib. Who are they? The Niger. Those of the Nagib shall possess Mount Idundu. And those of Shephelah shall possess the land of the Philistines. They shall possess the land of Ephraim and the land of Samaria. And Benjamin shall possess Gilead, as the prophet Jeremiah said. The exiles of the house of the people of Yasara shall possess the land of the Canaanites, who they said you is. After they done took everything from you. The exiles of the of the host. Host means a great number of people. A host can mean. If you say two legions. That's two thousand. But he said a host. Shall possess. Of Yasara shall possess the land of. Cana. Canaanites. Far as. Zarephath. And the exiles of Salama, who are in Sarfad, the Sarfadic people, who are really them black people who you see, the Sarfad, shall possess the cities of the Nagiv, the Niger. Saviors shall go up to Mount Sion to rule Mount Edumdu. Has the slave went up and rule the land of the slave masters yet. Has they come up and has all these things come to pass yet? Nope. Savior shall go up to Mount Sion to rule Mount Edundu. And the kingdom shall be Yahuwah's. Yahushua will reign and rule in this kingdom. Man, Yahuwah will reign and rule in this kingdom. That was the word of Allah by the Nabi. Amen. Obadiah. Yahuda has a glorious future. Yuda has a glorious future. Allah Hayim is a just Allah Hayim. You will not judge the remnant as the wicked. He will not judge the strangers as the wicked of the other nation. The strangers who are those Gentiles who believe in Allah Hayim. He will not judge the, the righteous Yasara 
like the wicked, Yasara. So shall you know in Yoel, last chapter, verse 17, so shall you know that I am Yahuwah, your Allahayim, who dwells in Sion, then you will know when I dwell in Sion. My holy mountain is his. And Salam shall be holy. Salam shall be Kodash. And strangers shall never again pass through it. And in the day, the mountains shall drop, uh, drip sweet wine. And the hills shall flow with milk. And all the streamed, streamed beds of Yudah, Yadu, shall flow with water. And a fountain shall come forth from the house of Yahuwah and water the valley of Rome. So a fountain shall come from the house of Yahuwah and water the valley of Rome. Kamata shall become a desolation and Idumdum a desolate wilderness. Africa shall become a desolation and Idumdum a desolate wilderness. For the violence done to the people of Judah, whom they say unite. For the violence done to the people of Judah, because they have shed innocent blood in their land. But Yadu shall be inhabited forever. And salam to all generations, all generations not temporary. I will avenge their blood, not just for 2,000 years. And salam to all generations, I will avenge their blood. Blood I will, I have not avenged. So Yahuwah say he has not avenged the blood of Yadu. Not yet. He say he's not avenged it yet. He say, if he judge, if he give the righteous all the things that they need right now, then the wicked will have to be destroyed. So he giving people time and space to confess and repent. You find that in the book of the Proverbs, uh, Shalomon, the wisest king that Yadu and Yasara has ever had, besides Yesu. He said, be, uh, he said, but Yadu shall be inhabited forever and salam to all generations. So this is a generation of Yadu. How come we ain't in our land? Because of the violence that Edom Doom did to us. We didn't know what tribes were sending us over here. We didn't know what was really going on with our people on the continent of Kamata. I will avenge their blood Blood I have not avenged. Yesu say he has not avenged the blood of his people that was taken as the property of other peoples. For Yahuwah dwells in Sion. One more. <clears throat> One more. So he calling for Yasara and for the strangers to hear his word, for the other nations to hear his word. And whoever confess, he said, he will preserve you. But if you don't confess, then he will not preserve you. And we may say, well, I got time to confess it. 
Let me just cut this deal real quick. To slaughter these ends inside of to abort these babies. Let me just cut this one more deal, you know, and then I get it together. To slay and kill innocent little children. Or to slay and kill innocent men and women. Let me just cut this one more deal to 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 to, to persecute my own people. Because I'm a Roman man. And he ain't doing what the laws of Rome say. Because he trying to follow after this Yesu. Or let me just pray to this to this uh Cesare Borgia out of just one more time because I got to say goodbye. The scriptures say the day that you hear my voice harden out your heart. Harden out your heart the day that you hear my voice. Amen. So, in 2 Kepha, chapter 3, verse 11, it says, Since all these things are thus to be dissolved, the earth, what sort, because it's going to come a new heaven and a new earth, what sort of people ought you to be in lives of holiness and Godliness, waiting for and hastening the coming of the day, the, the day of judgment, the day of redemption and judgment, the day of Allah, because of which the heavens will be set on fire and dissolve, and the heavenly body shall melt and they burn. According to his promise, we are waiting for new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Therefore, beloved, since you are waiting for these, be vigilant to be found by him without spot or blemish. And at Shalom. And count the patience of I, Yesu, as Yeshua, as salvation, just as our beloved brother Shaul, Shaul did, also wrote to you according to the wisdom that Kawal given to him, as he does in all his letters, not just some, all his letters, when he speaks in them of these matters, of these matters. There are some things in them that are hard to understand, which the ignorant and unstable twist to their own destruction, as they do other scriptures. You, therefore, beloved, see, he said that the writings of Shaul was counted as scriptures. Breed Hadashah. You, therefore, beloved, knowing and other scriptures, as they do other scriptures. So they twisted the letters of Shaul and as they do other scriptures. You therefore, beloved, knowing this beforehand, take care that you are not carried away with the error of lawless people. People that say the law is done away with and lose your own stability, but grow in the grace and knowledge of yeah, Yesu, Hamashiach, Yesu Hamashiach, to him be glory, to him be kabod, both now and to the day of eternity. This kingdom will be an eternal kingdom. Amen. World without end. See, when he made the heavens and the earth in the beginning of creation, In the land that they call now the land of the blacks, Kamatha, when in in Akush, 
when he created the heavens and the earth and he set uh, Adam, Adama and Havilah in the garden and told them, commanded them to till it. Death was not on the earth. Man, the, the scripture says that the food that was meat for them was every green herb that is for meat and the fruits was for the meat of man. That was their meat. But when Adam and Eve, Adama and Havilah, ate of the fruit of the knowledge of the tree, of the knowledge of good and evil, then death not just reigned in Adama and Havilah, but it also reigned in all their children, all their offspring, they all shoot. So the father had to cause a flood to come over the earth to kill all mankind, beasts, and everything on the earth. And he saved for himself Nuka. And if you read in the book of Yesar, Yasher, Jasher, it will tell you that how Nuka looked, his visage and appearance. He looked it like they said he was an angel, for he does not look like we look. He was a albino. He was an albino. Nuka. And Nuka bare three children. Yafet, Ham, and Sham. Yafet is the older brother to Sham. And the scripture says in Barashit chapter 9 that Yafet would dwell in the tents of Sham. This prophecy came to pass when they went inside of the land. Now the scripture says that Chetum is the son of Yafet. And the scripture says that Edom is a son of Yishak. But Edom went up into the mountains. And when you get to the New Testament, you see King Herod, who was a duke, who was a king. And he was ruling over Yadu, even during the time of Yesu. And this King Herod, who was an Edomite, and he was a Chittimite. This King Herod, who had intermarried with Romans, Italians, this Chittim is the brother of Jacob. They are mixed. And we know how mixed children look. Now, do it mean because you may have been born an Edomite that you shouldn't call on Allah Hayy? Do it mean that if you were born a Roman, which is an Edomite, that you ain't got nothing that you need to do? Now, in the book of Amos, it tells you that the father is going to choose some of these Edomites. So that they will be servants. Now the scriptures are slaves. So he say that he, Yahusha, is going to take Edom and sell them to Yadu. And Yadu is going to sell them to the Sabians, to a nation far off. Now this is what the scriptures say. This is what Yah said. And, 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 and this is what he said. We didn't know that Yah was telling us that the reason why y'all getting towed up is because y'all... Y'all ain't keeping my commandments, law, statute, commandments, and we didn't know about them. We didn't know. So we didn't know. We didn't know who we was. We didn't know if we even had a covenant to keep. All we knew is that we thought that the law was done away with. All we knew is that we thought that that um, that we was supposed to scribe in life to be the best gangster rapper or to be an activist like Martin Luther King. Uh, we didn't really understand. 
All we knew was that we was getting treated and done it in here and there. And folk was looking over us and we trying to, we know we was uh, of mankind, but we did not know what tribe we was from. You see? So the scriptures say in the latter days, he said, I will pour out. He said, in the, he said, he said, wisdom will be increased in the last days. So what that book was in the book of Daniel, the understanding of that scripture was sealed until the last days. Now, these are the last days. So go and read inside of the book of Daniel to know what's going on. To know what his plans is. Because how Satan has plans. And I say time plan is that he steal and kill and destroy. And that's what he did. And that's what he's trying to do with your eternal soul. And I pray that you would call on Yevet tonight. Yevet Mawu Lola. Yes. I pray that you would call on Yahabashai. I pray you would call on Yahuwah through the name of Yahabashai tonight. And I'm not saying that I'm perfect. And that's why I need the lamb. Yes, who say I'm not come for those who are not sick. I come for the sick. He said, I ain't come for righteous people. I came to die for sin for sinful people. He already told you how wicked y'all do in your in, in, in y y is. He already told you how wicked Edumdum is. He already told you how the wickedness of the nations is. So he ain't, it ain't nobody on this earth that can say that, well, we the nation because we are perfect people. Hamashiach came for wicked and disobedient people. Yasara and Yadu. And if you call on, on, on Yesu to save you from salvation, uh, to save you and give you salvation, he is faithful and just to do what he said. And I'm so glad that I made that error. Even though, so Yahuwah, forgive me, I'm so glad I made that error. We ain't supposed to call on Yesu to not have salvation. We're not supposed to call against salvation. Yes, Sue, please don't give me salvation. Yes, Sue, please don't give me salvation because you can actually redeem me. But we're supposed to call on Yahuwah and ask him to save us, to seal us, to forgive us our transgression, and to lead us in the path that we should go. And we have to do this together. Or we have to do it separately. But we can't be a people thinking that I ain't got to love my brother. Yes, who came and died for Yasara even while they was yet in rebellion towards him. He still died for them. So what should we do, Yasara and Yadu? Call on Yesu. Or call on Yeve by the name of Yesu. Because he is your sacrifice. Unto salvation. Salama. Mishpaka. Amen. I pray that you be blessed and enjoy this message. Amen.